So we want you to realize that as life causes you to expand and source is there in that vibration of expansion calling you forward we want you to understand how it is that that happens so law of attraction the most powerful law in the universe says that which is likened to itself is drawn so here is this perspective that was you before you were born huge point of attraction eternal law of attraction responding to it responding to the clarity the goodness the wholeness law of attraction responding powerfully to this source energy you this eternal core soul good source you law of attraction responding to that feel the power of that now part of you projected here and law of attraction is responding to this too so here is law of attraction responding to who you are you eternal being and here is law of attraction responding to who you are in your physicalness so as you beat the drum of something that says I am not good enough law of attraction responds to that and brings you things like it the thing we want you to feel though is that when law of attraction is responding to this vibrational stance and law of attraction is responding to this vibrational stance it causes the sensation of separation within you and that is what every single time negative emotion is it's just you activating within you something that defies who you really are and what you really know when life lets you know that you want more money and you send off rockets of desires all day every day for many 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 years there is a veritable fortune amassed for you and as you turn your attention toward the idea of that you come into alignment with something that you have incrementally put there but when you focus upon something that gives you reason to acknowledge that right now there's not enough of this thing that you want in that attention to the absence of what you have given birth to and what source has tended you feel the separation of the vibration you feel the emotional indicator of what you're doing vibrationally now we think it is the most wonderful thing in the world when you catch on to the fact that first your source and next that your source and physical and next that you have these two vibrational points of relativity that are playing off of one another all the time and next that you realize that negative emotion always means you're not up to speed with who you are in this moment but most important we think it is wonderful when you acknowledge that the emotions that you feel are vibrational indicators how good is that to know that your feeling is your clear indication that something is screwy in the vibration and once you understand that then you can begin to do something about bringing yourself into alignment and not only achieving the resolution of the indicator which is an improved emotion but then the manifestation must follow too the thing that we want you to hear because you all are so real in your bodies and so enthralled with the reality in which you live and you give such a large part of your attention to the reality that you are living you think that the reality that you're living is more important than it is and we want you to understand the reality that you're living is don't take this the wrong way is we'll try to be gentle or not is the reality that you are living is nothing more than an indication of your mix of vibration everything that you're living is about that and the reason that we want to give this to you in such a dramatized way is because we want so much for you to understand that if you've got a real life reality situation that isn't pleasing you it's only an indication of vibrational alignment or not it's only a vibrational indicator and in the moment that you change the vibration the indicator has to change too but so many people don't know that and you know why because they offer their vibration mostly because of what they're observing so you see how that doesn't work out very well so you've got this vibration going on and you don't notice it and so you don't do anything about it and it gets bigger and you have stronger and stronger negative emotion but you don't know what it means so you don't do anything about it you keep talking about it beating the drum about it joining the online chat groups talking to everybody you know about it writing emails about it and so now you've got this vibration stronger and stronger and now eventually you end up with an indicator that is not pleasing to you and then 
if you're like so many people who are reality based, who are wanting to face reality, who want to tell the truth. Now you are examining the details of the indicator and you are letting the details of the indicator now be your basis of vibration. How screwy is that? <laughs> so you say, what are you looking at? And you say, well, I'm looking at this horrible thing in my life. And someone says like us, why would you look at something horrible? And you say, because it's there. <laughs> because it's there and it's big and it's bad and it's awful and it's ugly and it's in my face. Well, we say, well, why are you looking at it? Because it's there. Well, we know it's there, but there are other things that are there. Yeah. But have you seen this? <laughs> have you seen this? I've been hearing about this. I've been reading about this. Have you seen this? Have you seen this? Have you seen this? I think this deserves my attention. I must give my undivided attention to this thing. I do not want. And we say, so you use something you don't want as your basis of observation and your point of vibrational offering. You make something you don't want the heart of your point of attraction. Why would you do that? And we say, the only reason that anyone would do that is because you just don't know better. You haven't let your emotions be important to you. Instead of caring about how you feel, instead of taking care of closing your gap, you worry more about what somebody else's opinion is of you. In other words, how are they responding to me? Am I saying the right things? Am I doing the right things? And we say, Oh, friends, you're looking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> when it is so important to you, what somebody else thinks about you and it starts early in your life, doesn't it? Someone loves you. They hold you as their object of attention. And when they are loving you, they're tuned into source energy. And when they hold you as their object of attention under those conditions, it feels so good to you. Oh, what life giving sweet air you breathe when someone is loving you. And then you say, I'll do just about anything I can to keep that love flowing from you. But what you didn't realize is they've got a life to live. They can't hold you as their only object of tension. They're going to look over there. They're going to look over there. And sometimes they're not going to be tuned into source energy. How's that feel? Somebody not tuned into source energy and holding you as their object of attention. That doesn't feel all that good either. Does it? <laughs>